Hey, what's up there, YouTubers? It's me again, Brian, a.k.a. Gamer55551. And I am back with a video review. And for this review, I'm going to be taking a look at one of the games that I mentioned in my, you know, top games of 2022. And that would be um, Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Hope for the um, Nintendo Switch. And for parents out there, um, it's worth pointing out that Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Hope is rated T for teens, ages 13 and up, by the ESRB ratings out. One of the game, Fire Emblem Warriors, the original one, was released back in um, 2017. This was around the time the Nintendo Switch had um, basically launched, though. And this was sort of the first time we saw a, a second t take on a Nintendo-themed Warrior games. Because up to that point, um, Koei Techno only did, you know, the ones based off of Hyrule Warriors. Though um, they did one for the Wii U, then they ported that over to the Switch before eventually making its way over to the Nintendo Switch. But Fire Emblem Warriors was sort of a new entry into it, though. And it was sort of an interesting take on the game itself as it offered two things that kind of made this one, I felt, like a cut above Hyrule Warriors um, in general though. The first one is that it offered and used basically a lot of the elements that were in the Fire Emblem games um, in general, ranging from different weapons, you know, like the weapon wheel, which I believe it's sword beats axe, axe beats spear, spear beats sword, and to even if you have bow and arrows, they could be uh, great against, you know, flying enemies and so forth, to basically offering a 60 frames per second option if you're playing it in, um, if playing it in dock mode to be exact. It definitely, to my, in my view, made it sort of a cut above basically other, you know, um, other, you know, Nintendo theme warrior games or warrior games um, in general, though. Now, since then, though, Koei Techno and Omega Force has released um, other entries into basically the Warrior series or the Nintendo theme warrior series. We've had Hyrule Warrior Age of Calamity, though, which supposedly acted sort of like a prequel to the events of Breath of the Wild, though. And now we have another entry into the Nintendo theme warriors, particularly in the Fire Emblem side, Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Hope. Basically, this is sort of a different take on the 2019's um, Fire Emblem um, Three Houses, though. The first debut of the uh, an original Fire Emblem game on the um, Nintendo Switch. And after spending some time with uh, Fire Emblem um, Three Hopes, though, I will say that it still remains sort of a, somewhat of a cut above the Hyrule Warrior games in general, though. But there are some, there is one particular decision, it's, it's, to be exact, though, that I'm not, at least from my perspective, though, don't exactly 100% agree with um, or don't like that Koei Techno did this. So why don't we get started with the pros and cons? And we'll start off first with the pros. And the first one has to do with basically what I mentioned when I talked about this game is that it's a warrior style type of game, but it borrows elements from, you know, the Fire Emblem series, much like how, you know, Hyrule Warriors kind of borrow certain elements from basically the Zelda series to be exact though. Uh, but I still maintain the fact that this sort of makes it a cut above because you do have the option to basically strategize a bit more like you do in the Fire Emblem games in terms of moving characters that you don't control to certain areas, to taking out certain guards, to even out certain bosses or enemies, um, depending on the, depending on what weapon they have and all. So for example, if you have a sword enemy and you want to take out an axe enemy, you'll see sort of like a blue arrow up above that enemy, meaning that you will have more of the advantage over the enemy though. However, if let's say you had a sword enemy, you took on a spear enemy though, you'll see a red arrow that goes down, meaning the enemy has more of an advantage over your character. So you kind of have to a little bit um, strategize um, here and there though. You do have the option to switch to different characters when you're in the battlefield and all, and that might come hand in handy if there are certain missions or side missions during your quest though and you, you don't have enough time to reach that area so and if there's another character there you could take control of that character and all to even basically teaming up with other characters and all and you could swap them in and out any time which can also improve the relationship with your characters and so forth you could also improve relationships when you're at your base camp you know giving gifts doing conversations chores or cooking that kind of stuff sort of similar stuff that was in three hope 
adults to a certain um, degree. But either way, I like the fact that they they take the more that they add elements to the Fire Emblem, and I feel like it's sort of why I feel like the Fire Emblem Warrior type games are kind of a cut above not only Hyrule Warriors, but in to some extent some of the Warrior games um, out there though. The next thing you do have is you have also the ability to change different classes though. This happens when you're in the base camp and especially after you train and all. Basically what happens is that even when you do certain battles, whether it's side missions or the main quest or anything like that, your characters in terms of the skills they have will level up to a point where they say that they have mastered that skills and you'll be able to um, switch classes at some point and this offers different styles of gameplay depending on which class you switch to like you might be a fighter but you may move on to like a mage and all and they have different skills and all so you got have to learn some of those skills though you also have the ability to get what are basically seals and some of these they, they can be earned during like if you get an s rank in one of some of the fights though to doing certain rewards and all but you'll be able to unlock more advanced you know advanced type of fighters that you could choose from in terms of different skills and so forth so i like the fact that you have the ability to change certain skills and you can also change the skills of other characters as well so that certainly is neat too and last but not least though um the game does sort of maintain the visuals of three houses which certainly isn't a bad thing though story-wise it's let's just say it feels more like an alternate take on three houses to a certain extent but in terms of visual wise it still maintains that look and style that three houses was also known for which to me the character designs are looks like it's made by the same folks who worked on the you know the persona series to be exact though and as far as the game running on the switch though it runs at basically um 30 frames per second and i will say based on my time with it i didn't really have a huge amount of issues with it running at 30 frames per second that might be different for other folks out there but as far as my time with the game though i thought it ran fine you know at um 30 frames um, per second at all <clears throat> okay we're gonna take a quick break when we get back we'll get to part two which is the con so we'll take a little break and we will be right back Okay, and we are back with part two of my video review of Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Hope for the Nintendo Switch. So now that I gave you the pros, why don't we get started with the cons? There are really only um, two cons I could think of in terms of my time with Fire Emblem Warriors um, 3 Hope. Uh, the next one, I, the first one I want to talk about is basically um, is basically the visuals and all. And as I mentioned before, I thought the visuals for Fire Emblem 3 Hope Three Hopes, or even Three Houses for that general, weren't necessarily bad, considering that they were, uh, some of the character designs were handed, I believe handed by the same folks who handled the um, Persona series and all. And while it certainly wasn't necessarily bad, I won't say it's the best looking game on the Nintendo Switch or anything about. Like it's not the worst or anything like that, but I can point to several other games that probably look um, better, like Breath of the Wild or Super Mario Odyssey, uh, for that matter, um, to be exact, though. I mean, but then again, it is worth pointing out, um, basically, Fire Emblem isn't really known for being a, a visual powerhouse or anything like that. Maybe outside of the current Fire Emblem game that came out recently, Fire Emblem Engage, which I will admit for a Fire Emblem game, visually, that this doesn't look bad. I will review that game and all. But in general, though, Fire Emblem isn't really known as a visual powerhouse. So it, to me, it, the visuals are okay. They're not great. They're fine. They're not the worst looking game I've seen on the Nintendo Switch. But it, I wouldn't go as far as saying that they are the best looking game on the Nintendo Switch. And last but not least, and this to me is kind of a big one though, and that is that there is no graphical option for Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes though. Now, as I mentioned in the opening though, that when 2017's Fire Emblem Warriors came out though, one of the features it offered was a choice to either play the game at 1080p at 30 frames per second or knock it down to 720p at 60 frames per second. 
Personally, I like it when games offer these graphical options. Yeah, the resolution somewhat takes a hit at 720p, but to me, I'm more of a gameplay over graphics type of a person, so offering that 60 frames per second option is always the one option that I would go with, though. And it is a little bit unfortunate and disappointed, though, that Fire Emblem um, Warriors 3 Hope, much like with Hybrid Warriors Age of Calamity, though, unfortunately, does not offer a um, graphical option, at least based on what I've seen um, so far. I mean, I'm not saying 30 frames per second is necessarily bad. Normally it isn't, depending on as long as it's a stable 30 frames per second, but I don't deny 60 frames per second is certainly better. And it is a little bit unfortunate that Koei Techno and Omega Force um, were not able to put a graphical option in Fire Emblem Warriors um, Three Hopes, considering how the original Fire Emblem Warriors did have a graphical option. So definitely um, unfortunate to be exact though. It doesn't ruin the game, but it is definitely unfortunate that there was no, that there was no graphical option for Fire Emblem Warriors um, Three Hopes though. Overall, Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes is still a fun, you know, Nintendo themed warrior game. Um, to be exact, though, obviously it's a Warriors game, and those type of games may or may not appeal to everybody. But those who do enjoy the Warrior games or enjoy, you know, the Nintendo theme Warriors game, so will probably enjoy Fire Emblem Warriors um, Three Hope. At its best, though, it still maintains the warrior style gameplay with elements of Fire Emblem into it. And not to mention, I still feel it makes it a cut above, you know, the Hyrule Warrior games in general, though. You're able to change different classes, have different style of gameplay, though. And the visuals aren't necessarily terrible. They do, they do have the style very similar to Three Houses, though. And it, having it run at 30 frames per second isn't necessarily bad. But at its worst, though, to be exact, though, visually, Fire Emblem isn't really well known for its visuals and also it's not the worst looking Switch game, but it certainly isn't the best, though. And I will admit the big disappointment for me, though, is the fact that there is no graphical option for Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Hope compared to 2017's Fire Emblem Warriors um, in general, though. But in either case, though, I still think it's a good game, um, nevertheless, though, and fans of the Nintendo theme Warrior style games will probably enjoy this one, um, to be exact, though. And I certainly would be down to seeing other different type of Nintendo theme Warrior style type of games. I mean, I would be open to the idea if they did one on Mario. That would be interesting. I know there are some who would like to see the idea of a Pokemon if they did that. Um, two that pop into my head the most would be one, probably based off of Kid Icarus. I mean, I could see something like that if it's done right. And two, the second one is, I really think they should do one based off of the Xenoblade Chronicles series. So I think that one, I think that that would be a good fit if they just ever decide to do a warrior style game and use the Xenoblade um, Chronicle character. So, but in either case, though, if you enjoyed Fire, the Nintendo theme warrior games, um, whether it was the Fire Emblem ones or the Zelda ones, though, I'm sure you're going to enjoy Fire Emblem Warriors um, Three Hope, though. <clears throat> Okay, uh, this concludes my video review of Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Hope. And again, these are my opinion. What are yours? What are your thoughts about Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Hope, though? Um, do you, are you going to try pick up this game for the um, Nintendo Switch? Are you a fan of these nintendo theme style um, warrior games and all? Um, were you disappointed to see that there wasn't any graphical option unlike 2017's Fire Emblem Warriors, though? Do you think they do you think they should do a war Nintendo theme warrior games based off of like say Mario or Xenoblade Chronicles or Pokemon in general? Do you agree with what I say in this video? Do you disagree? Do you have a difference of opinion? Um, as always, sound off on the comment section below. Let me know what you think. And if you do like this video, I hope you hit the like button. I would appreciate it. And I hope you do subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you do, make sure you hit the bell icon for notifications of any new videos I put up. Um, also, feel free to share this video if you want to, and feel free to donate to my channel if you like. You can do it through PayPal Me or Patreon or Steam Labs, though. Links will be in the description of this video, assuming you're watching this on YouTube. And I will see you again next time when I do another video. Hopefully, that'll be soon. Until then, from Southern California, I wish you all a good day then. Bye!